In grade six, I went on my first date ever uh, with a girl named Adele. My mom drove us to the local movie theater. <laughs> we sat in the back seat together. It was awkward as awkward gets. Uh, we were going to see Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, which is just this classic movie that I hated for so long. So we, we drove there, my mom dropped us off. It, it hurts to even say that, just remembering how cringe it was. Then we sat in the movie, then left, got back in the car, and mom drove her home. And I remember for years after that, I couldn't watch that movie. I always hated it deep down. It always made me feel really uncomfortable and reminded me of the awkwardness and, I don't know, feeling not cool enough or whatever it was. And so for years, I kept seeing it, whether through friends or my dad used to watch it a lot when it was on. And it took me a long, long time to really appreciate how amazing the movie is. And when I did, it really started resonating and really valuing the idea of having one day that you had to play over and over and over again until you got it right. Going through this day where you had the freedom to be who you wanted and live it how you wanted, and yet none of it mattered. None of it was meaningful or impactful enough until you got it just perfectly right. All the freedom in the world that he had of getting to live the same day over again, having to have your actions have no ramifications, getting to do whatever you wanted, having anything, being anything. And yet, as those of you who've watched the movie know, it just led him to trying to kill himself a thousand times. And every morning just waking back up and having to do the exact same thing again. And even though kind of initially as you watch the movie, you think that would be, first it seemed like it would be awesome. Then it seems like it would be awful. And then you realize it's really not that much different than what it actually is. I think that's the beauty. And most likely, I don't know, I've never read much about it. But most likely what they were trying to say with that is that that's essentially what we're doing. We're living this day that we, we don't know how many there are. And that one day, it's going to be it. And kind of the message is that it's not really going to be meaningful to you, no matter all the things that you have or do or can be, until you live it really honestly, truthfully, with purpose, and a lot of kindness, I think. That movie really stressed the idea of not living it for yourself, because in all the early parts and middle parts of the movie where he's just living for himself, it just did nothing. He'd still wake up and have to do it again. And even as he started to realize that there's more to this, I need to have a perfect day, started saving the kid. Was it the kid from the tree or was it a cat from a tree and saved a kid from something? I can't even remember now. Started learning to play piano and even started to fall in love. Even that wasn't enough, which you would think in a Hollywood movie, maybe that would be the angle. But even that wasn't enough. It had to be all those things. You had to be a good person. You had to be thoughtful and helpful. You had to share love. You had to give up what you wanted um, and focus on what others wanted. And I think even before I really understood that that was what I was getting out of the movie and reflecting back, I think that was always something that really resonated deeper down than I realized. To get up every single day and to work your damn best to release thoughts of yourself other than to how you can make a difference in other people's lives. And that doesn't have to be on the grand scheme of things. It doesn't mean you have to go to another country and, and do support work there or even donate to charity, but just the people that you're crossing paths with. People in your family, people you cross in the street, your neighbors, just to radiate this kind of positive mindset and helpful and kindness to resonate it no matter what's going on even when you're stuck in a time loop even when 
You've tried to kill yourself a thousand times and woken up in the same spot again to do it again and to figure out a way to do it better. So I think about that a lot, especially kind of late sitting up late at night, staring out the window and thinking, how is tomorrow going to be a better day? How am I going to bring more light than I did today to everything that's around me? And some days you go through the day knowing that you're going to wake up and it's going to be the same day because you didn't do enough. You weren't good enough. You weren't kind enough. You didn't spread enough love, whether to yourself or to anybody else. But then other days when I do really well on all these things, I feel like I go to bed thinking maybe this day I would have woken up the day after Groundhog Day. And if you just go about your days trying to act as if you were trying to wake up the day after Groundhog Day, then maybe one day you will.